This is Barry. Barry is an Arduino-powered bartender designed to mix and serve cocktails like your Long Island iced tea, rum and coke, sangria, and plenty more. When someone mentions a robot bartender, what usually comes to mind is something that looks like this. While this approach to an automated bartender creates quite the spectacle when serving, the footprint of the bartender and the amount of engineering required to implement this design in a tabletop form factor would be difficult. This ultimately led me to Barry's design. I created my initial design in Fusion 360 and used it as a blueprint for my design moving forward. When drafting the bill of materials for Barry, figuring out how to draw the liquid from the drink tank into the dispense cup in a sanitary and precise fashion was challenging. An aquarium pump is far too inaccurate and wouldn't fit the space where the pump sits. And due to the non-food safe tubing inside of the pump, the tubes would have to be flushed periodically to eliminate mold buildup. Scouring the internet pointed me to this, a peristaltic pump attachment for brushed DC motors. This pump is exactly what I was looking for. I can fit six pumps in the space allocated for the electronics, and the pumps doesn't require any additional signal processing or speed controllers to operate. And most importantly, the pump can be disassembled and swapped out with food safe tubing. After creating the bill of materials, I was off to the races. The frame itself is constructed out of 1x2 lumber held together with 6x2 wood screws. Using pilot holes where the screws enter the lumbar ensures the wood wouldn't split. Where the woods would collide into each other, I used Gorilla Glue to hold the frame laterally. If I decide to create V2 iteration of Barry in the future, I will redesign the frame using folded sheet metal because not only was the frame not square, a headache to work with, the volume that the wood consumes inside of the frame is quite significant, which constrained my choice in pump and power supply. Now to paneling. I wanted Barry's outer shell to look seamless, similar to a kitchen appliance. To achieve this look, I had help from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all CNC milling, 3D printing, injection molding, and custom PCB fabrication and sheet metal cutting needs. Using PCBWay's services is as simple as uploading the .step file of your design onto their configurator, waiting for one of their engineers to review your designs to ensure that there aren't any inconsistencies, and waiting for your design to be approved. Once your design is approved, submit your payment and they will start building your design. Barry's panels are cut from 5052 aluminum with a standard finish using their laser cutting service. From the moment I submitted my payment to the fabrication and to the packing, it only took three days. This number might vary for you, but the average turnaround time is 24 hours. Thank you to PCBWay for their service with the paneling for Barry and for sponsoring this video. The front, left, right, and top panels are cut out of aluminum to carry over the appliance look. The drink and pump panels are acrylic to keep the costs low, and the bottom panel is also acrylic to prevent short circuits as the electronic components sit on top of it. All panels except for the drink panel are attached to the frame using epoxy. The drink panel is pressure fit with a bracket I designed in Fusion 360 for easy access to the electronics bay. Speaking of the drinks panel, the electronics sit right below it. Barry was intended to be built off a of Raspberry Pi board, however, when I created the bill of materials, Raspberry Pis were out of stock for the foreseeable future, so I ended up designing Barry V1 with an Arduino based board. While possible with an Arduino, a Raspberry Pi would have simplified my plan to develop a web based application that would allow the user to conveniently add new recipes to their Barry bartender systems. As a result, this feature has been pushed back to Barry V2. Barry is built on a 12 volt architecture because the peristaltic pumps are driven by 12 volt motors. The 5 volt components are powered via the step down module that's connected to the 12 volt power supply. This configuration is ideal because the Arduino input voltage and the relay controller input voltage doesn't have a variable load as opposed to the pumps, which will vary significantly at different moments in time 
A6 channel relay controlled by the Arduino toggles each relay on and off with the help of the LCD. The LCD allows the users to toggle through various drinks with the top button and select the drink that they want with the lower button. Finally, to organize the cable spaghetti, I used an open slot cable raceway that I had left over from my Voron 2.4 3D printer project. The screen I used on Barry is a 1602 LCD module, meaning it can display up to 16 characters horizontally and 2 characters vertically, for a total of 32 characters. Communication between the LCD and the microcontroller would require up to 8 pins for the data lines. I used an I2C module to cut down the communication line to just 2 wires. This not only reduced the number of wires that's needed to fit between the screen enclosure, but also reduced the complexity of the wiring, making it cleaner and more efficient. Originally, Barry was designed with the button and display mounted up top. However, the cabling that's needed to execute this design pushed me to come up with a better design. Instead, I went with a bottom mounted display and redesigned the enclosure to match the design characteristics Barry has. I ran into a few challenges fitting the resistors into the enclosure, so with V2 I will redesign the base with better space utilization or use smaller buttons inside of the enclosure. After connecting the food safe tubing to the respective pumps, I powered Barry on and ran my first test. Some preliminary testing determined the pumps I used had a flow rate of 2.25 milliliters per second, which allowed me to program the amount of time each relay needed to be on for however much liquid I wanted to dispense. After the user selects the drink of their choice, the Arduino toggles the respective relays to draw liquid from the drink bottles into the funnel located up top and dispenses it into the cup. The funnel is held into place using a bracket that I designed, allowing me to easily remove and clean the system if needed. In my program, the liquid enters the cup in staggered intervals to mix the drink. As an example, a rum and coke has a 30 rum to 70 coke mix ratio. Since the ratio of coke is greater than the rum, it will dispense a constant stream of coke and spread the rum throughout the duration that it takes to dispense the coke. This isn't the best method of mixing, so I'm working on a motorized drink mixer that spins a magnetic disc underneath the coaster, which will spin a magnetic wheel inside of the cup, which will provide a more evenly distributed drink and will be rolled out on V2. Finally, I added some LED strip lighting so the user can see their drink being poured. And that's it! Berry is ready to serve your favorite drinks. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, don't be a stranger and hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.